one look at this truck. We are going to cook some of the finest barbecue you've ever had. And many Odessans can already smell the enticing aroma of the barbecue crafted by this organization, a group by the name of the Odessa Chuck Wagon Gang. In 1940, 13 local businessmen came together, wanted to figure out a way to promote the city of Odessa. They settled upon the idea of cooking and serving barbecue in the manner of the old school chuck wagons from the 1800s, early 1900 cattle drives. That idea caught on and blossomed. Blossomed so much so that the gang just celebrated their 84th anniversary. And almost 90 years later, the gang still tries to keep their food as original as it looked and tasted on their first anniversary. Our original plate of food that we served for years was sliced barbecue beef in a barbecue sauce, coleslaw, and pinto beans. We have expanded our menu over the years. We do grill steaks, chicken, those kind of things. And having been around for so long, this wagon has been chucked in more places than just West Texas, having served people in 26 states and even nine countries. But we've been in the Ukraine, we've been in Russia, Germany, Scotland, England, Canada, and Costa Rica that I know of. And no matter what part of the globe they're on, and no matter how many musical artists and presidents they meet, they never fail to serve that West Texas barbecue. The largest event on record, uh, we did in either 98 or 99 in Edmonton, Canada, where we fed 37,000 people in one setting. Showing off the West Texas hospitality to places far from our neck of the desert. You may get two to five seconds to interact with the person across from you. A big old smile, West Texas hospitality. You have to look at it as you never know what kind of day, week, year, life that person's having. And if we can bring a little bit of happiness, put a smile on their face for just a moment, and know we've just handed them a great plate of food, that's what makes it all worth it. Putting a smile on people's faces, all while not receiving a single dime. Every one of us is a volunteer. We all have day jobs. We do have some retired individuals. Last year, uh, we were invited to go to Quantico, Virginia to the FBI Academy to feed the FBI hostage rescue team's 40th anniversary reunion. But they didn't realize us, all of us guys had come off our day jobs, burnt vacation time, paid our own airfare, and they were, they were just stunned. That they couldn't imagine a group of 24 people giving up their time, paying their own money, just to come work and serve. And just like what the gang does to everyone else, one of the FBI members made a comment that would make all the original members from 1940 smile. That's the America we fight for. These guys came here just for us. That's what we fight for. So I'm not sure there was any of us in the gang had a dry eye after that. Bringing that West Texas goodwill to a more massive audience. It's safe to say, in the 84 years of the Odessa Chuckwagon Gang, they've accomplished their goal, one bite at a time. In Odessa, I'm Marcus Risen.